Oh man, it is a hot and muggy day today in Brooklyn, quite honestly, guys. Um, but at the same time, I love working outside. And as I've been working today, answering emails, all this kind of stuff, I was just thinking that a lot of my my stuff, a lot of the content that I put out here on the crowdfunding demystify channel is really geared towards tips, advice, strategy, and lessons. But I actually don't think that's the best way that you learn something. Like in an ideal world, you would actually be able to just watch the screen of someone who's managing an effective fundraising fundraising campaign on Kickstarter, Indiegogo, etc. Like you could literally just watch the screen and follow them step by step through a process like that. So I started kind of like scratch my head and started to think like, okay, what is the most important aspect of a campaign on Kickstarter? And clearly one of the most powerful ways that people actually drive funding and also get email subscribers leading up to a launch is with Facebook advertising. Facebook advertising is heck cheese. It is so powerful. It's incredible to me the number of people that are successfully using Facebook Facebook advertising and translating that directly into Kickstarter backers. So I've done Facebook advertising, but I wouldn't say necessarily that I'm like the best expert out there. So I started to like rack my brain and I came across a name, Eli Regalado. So Eli Regalado, I've had him on my podcast before. If you've listened to the show, he also has contributed blog posts to my, my actual blog. You know, he's kind of like, uh, I guess technically a competitor of mine. <laughs> you know, he has a course out there on Udemy. He also does education and that kind of stuff. But I mean, we're all also friends you know behind the scenes and uh, I love also just working with other entrepreneurs so I approached him and I'm like hey man would you be willing to share with me what you do to craft an effective Facebook advertising campaign and at first he was like a little bit hesitant because I mean that's kind of like private knowledge but eventually he started to warm up to it and I told him like this is gonna help a lot of my subscribers it's gonna help a lot of people out there if you're willing to share this for free so eventually he gave in with a lot of convincing for me so today he's gonna share with you step by step literally exactly what you have to do if you want to craft an effective Facebook advertising campaign and how to do it simply. So I'm about to introduce you to Eli Regalado, the founder of Mad Hatter Agency. These guys are mega when it comes to crowdfunding. Um, they're one of the boutique agencies out there that I stand by that I recommend people to. And in addition, if you're not interested in doing all this yourself, whether you're a small beginner, you don't have an advertising budget, you maybe have like a little bit of a budget but not very much to spend, or you're even just a bigger company and have a large budget, these guys help with all of that so if you're not interested in figuring this out yourself and doing it yourself they will also help you so i'll let you know more about that in the link down below but without further ado let me introduce you to eli regalado thanks sal hey everybody so today i'm going to show you how to run a successful facebook ads campaign for your crowdfunding raise so the first thing you want to do uh, we're going to go to canva.com now in canva canva is basically a online uh Kind of like a Photoshop, but it's super, super easy to use. They've already got a bunch of like uh, little text pieces in there and really cool things that you can make uh, really cool, good looking ads very, very quickly. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to say custom dimensions and Facebook ads, we want 1200 by 628. Oops. Okay, I'm going to hit design. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of like upload, let's say, and then we'll add some text. And we'll just kind of say like this. Never. Oops, can't type today. Fall out. Okay, so I'm going to say these earbuds never fall out because they actually sit inside your ear canal. And then if you want, you can, what I like doing too is like just drawing um, and focusing the attention of the ad so people know exactly what it is that you're trying to do right away. Oops. Let's do this one. And then I'll kind of shrink this down. Move it over here. Change this to red. Uh, doesn't stick out enough. Blue. Okay, never fall out. Cool. All right, so there you go. So you have these headphones that never fall out. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna download that. Hit download. And then I'm going to go into my ads editor. So hang tight with me and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so once you get to Facebook, what you want to do is you're going to want to go down to the ads manager. This is on the home page, so it's facebook.com. And if you don't see it right here, just kind of scroll down, click see more, and it should be in one of these guys. But I'm going to click on ads manager. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a campaign. And now here's 
what I'm going to show you first is I'm going to show you how to do basically do traffic ads and then I'm going to show you um, how to just really kind of start sucking the net in. So basically what you want to do is you want to start really, really wide and then as your ads start performing, you're going to get narrower and narrower and narrower in your focus. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do traffic. So I'm going to click on traffic and I'm just going to say headphones traffic. Okay. And then I'm going to hit, I'm going to skip this right now, hit continue. Next step is the actual ad set. So this is you telling Facebook who it is you're targeting. So I'm going to say US 25 plus men, women, and fitness. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to create this audience. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, make sure my ages are right. So I'm going to say 25 plus. I typically only like going to 45. Once you start getting past 45 years of age, you kind of have, start having diminishing returns. A lot of uh, folks who are older in years don't necessarily understand crowdfunding uh, as well as uh, young, younger demographic. So we typically just always do 25 to 45 years old. I'm going to say men and women in the United States. And then I'm going to say, let's go fitness. There we go. Physical fitness. Okay, so physical fitness, that's kind of broad. You see how broad these are? 350 million, etc. I like a, a test audience between, you know, 1.5 to 3 million max. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of start sucking this in. So it's like instead of just saying fitness, let's think about things that uh, people who have uh, these earbuds falling out of their ears are typically running, they're jumping, they're, they're doing something very strenuous that causes their existing earbuds to fall out. So I'm going to say CrossFit. Okay, there we go. 55 million people there, oh, excuse me, 15 million there, <laughs> okay? And then what I can do is I can narrow this audience, okay? Okay. And that brings it down to about a million people. Okay, it's a little too far, so I'm gonna kind of expand that out a little bit. So I can sit there and say, um, let's just say uh, Kickstarter. So people who like CrossFit and Kickstarter. Okay, so there you go, 2.7 million people. So that's a pretty good, nice little uh, test to do. And what we do with this is we'll do multiple tests, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, but this is the first one. Okay, next thing we want to do is we're going to edit placements. So typically the only thing I like showing is in the feeds. So I'm going to take off all this other stuff. Uh, Instagram, I don't really like doing. You guys can if you want, I just typically don't. Audience network. I don't ever, and then Messenger, so like in the inbox and whatnot, I never do. So the really place, the only place I want to see this displayed in is the feed, okay? Um, all mobile devices, you can choose which one, so maybe if you only have like a, um, a specific product that works with Apple or Android, you can you know select this to choose, you know, Android, iOS, etc. Daily budget, I'm always gonna set for $5 a day just to test and to kind of see what happens from there. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say link clicks, okay? So that's there. And then I'm going to hit continue. Now here's the ad name, okay? So say never fall out CrossFit, okay? And then let's just say whatever. So this is, you got to choose your page. Oh, the only one I have on this is this. So we'll just say that for now. Okay, so then we're going to say single image uh, for the ad. And then right now, I'm going to upload images. So I'm gonna upload the one I just downloaded and I built on Canva. Okay, and this is how it's gonna start looking now, okay? Now, I wanna send people to a website and this website is gonna be a landing page that I have built specifically for this product and I'll get to that right now. So here's the landing page we built. We use a system called Instapage. So this might be, um, costs a little much for most people, but I think it's like $79 a month. But uh, it's great because you can sit there and create uh, really good looking pages very, very quickly and have total control without having to program. So this whole page we probably built in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So we have a nice little video of the founder. We have an opt-in that has uh, the opt-in right up front. So we ask for the first name and email address. 
And then we start having some of the features and benefits underneath it, start showing some uh, zoomed up shots, have a little GIF showing it going all the way into the person's ear. And then of course we say coming soon to Kickstarter. And then if they get all the way down here, we're gonna say go to sign up form. It's just gonna kick them right back up to the form. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this URL and I'm gonna put this as the destination for the app. And then I'm gonna sit there and say, um, cross fitters love this. Most frust thing is to have your earbuds fall out when training. And I'm just going to say, these sit in your ear canal and will never fall out. See why now. Okay. And then the call to action, you can sit there and do like download, donate, get showtime, send message, request time, see menu, all that. So I'm going to say learn more. Okay. Uh, overlay, I'm not going to add any type of overlay in here. Uh, news feed link description, you can put that in there. So if you want to say something like, uh, maybe this is like some features. So like you can say waterproof, waterproof, um, built for athletes, etc. Okay, and this is how your ad's going to look. Okay, so right now, if I'm a CrossFitter, I can see this. CrossFitters love this, okay? And I say the most frustrating thing is to have your earbuds fall out when training. These sit in your ear canal and will never fall out. See why now. So then you can very easily see and understand what's going on here. And if I'm a CrossFitter and I see this ad, then it makes sense for me to basically take a little look at it, okay? All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit confirm. That's going to take a few seconds. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to do the split test and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to have you click on ad sets. So once you're in your campaign, you click on the campaign you want, then I'm going to go to ad sets and then I'm going to rename this CrossFit because we actually didn't target fitness, we targeted CrossFit and Bluetooth. So CrossFit plus blue, oh with, yeah, blue, oh no I'm sorry, Kickstarter is what it was. Okay. All right, and I'm going to hit publish, and that's that. Okay, now this says in review, so this sometimes this can take a few minutes, sometimes it can take a few days, but it typically only takes, you know, a couple hours on average. Okay, so now once I have that, now I'm going to do another split test, okay, and I'm just going to keep everything the same, so I'm going to duplicate what I've already got. Original camp, so I'm going to say existing campaign, and that's headphones traffic. So I'm going to say duplicate. Okay. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this guy. So this is the one that the copy. I'm going to remove that. And so now I'm going to do is maybe say, um, Let's just say Zumba and Kickstarter. Okay, I'm gonna come on down. United States, 25 to 45, instead of saying CrossFit, I'm gonna say Zumba. Okay, and these actually aren't that big, but Let's see what we got. Zumba Fitness. Zumba Fashion. Zumba Fashion. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, Zumba Fitness video games. Zumba Fitness dance party classes. Okay, I'm just going to say that, pretend that this has like, you know, a few million people on it. Estimated reach is too low, so i got to add some more. So I'm going to say Zumba Dance. Okay. Cool. So now we've got enough of a reach to actually go after these people. So still fewer than a thousand, but let's just for pretend sake, let's just say this is you know between one to three million people. Okay. And then edit placements. I'm going to keep that all the same. Okay. And then I'm going to say publish. 
And then now I have an ad set specifically geared towards the Zumba crowd underneath the exact same campaign. And I'm going to be able to see which ad and which campaign is converting better. Now you can split test audiences. You can split test your headline copy. You can split test your, your copy on the, in the actual description of the ad itself, your images. And so the, the thing with all this guys is you typically want to have between five to 10 different split tests running at any given time to really find out who your target market is. Your leads are going to come in between a one to $3. And what a lead constitutes is if someone clicks on your ad, and they go to your page, they're gonna be able to uh, sign up. And once someone signs up with a first name and email address, they now become a lead, and that's how you run a successful Facebook ads campaign for your crowdfunding race. All right, so now that you know how to set up your ads and run the testing, now it's a matter of how do you optimize them? How do you know if they're working or not for you, okay? So the big thing is if you're getting leads between one to $3, you're, you're in the right ballpark, but you can still optimize things to where sometimes you're getting leads less than a dollar. And if it's, as long as you just keep doing enough tests, right? So how I do that is I look at a couple different things. So I look at the top end and then I look at the back end. So then the top end side of things, what I look for is I look and see what the click-through rate is. Now, if the click-through rate to my ad is greater than 3%, that typically means I've got an audience that sees the ad, that is enjoying the ad, and that's clicking through on it. If I have a click-through rate of like 1% or less, that typically tells me that, that people with this ad to that audience, it's not resonating. So what I can do is I can either change the ad, I can change the copy, I can change both, uh, and see if I get a different result. The other thing to look at then, so if you're converting at the top and you have um, a, you know, 3% or higher click-through rate, oh, and the other thing is a relevancy score, right? So when you're looking at your, at your ads, it'll say relevancy score. If that thing's a seven or higher, that's good, right? If it's less than seven, that means that the audience isn't really resonating with it. So they're not liking, commenting, or sharing your ad. So that means you need to kind of change it up to make sure you get make it more relevant to that particular audience. So if that's all good, um, and you're still not converting between a dollar to three dollars, um, look at your landing page because your landing page, bare minimum, should convert at least 20% of the traffic. So if you send 100 people to the landing page, you need at least 20 to give you an email address. Okay, so right now this is probably like the third or fourth test that we've done with this page. Uh, it used to just have this image behind it. We didn't have a video and the page was converting at about 12%. It's not bad, it's not great by any means. So what we did is we just did this quick little video, threw that on here, and then the conversion rate went from 12% to 23% literally overnight, okay? So, um, and sometimes the, the best pages are really, really simple. I mean, I've had pages that are literally just like this top fold, nothing underneath right here and it just says a quick little mini video and then a sign up form. And people like that because if you tell everybody everything all up front, then there's no reason for them to opt in, right? So you wanna kind of hint and tease, you don't necessarily wanna give them everything. So if you're watching this video and this feels like rocket science, you know, don't worry, it's not. Typically what I've always advised people to do is, you know, watch this a couple times. Start testing some ads and, you know, see what type of results you get. If this is still too much, maybe you guys are just focused on your product and you're just trying to get this thing to launch. You don't have the time frame to really master this. And it's taken me, you know, several years to actually really, really master this to the point where we can do this systematically each and every time. But if you want us to help you, uh, you can go ahead and apply with the link below. And uh, myself or Sal will reach out to you. We'll set up a time to talk about your specific project and we'll go from there. Otherwise, any other questions, you can just email me, Eli at Mad Hatter Agency. Dot com or you can also email sell so thanks for watching i hope you guys have a great raise anything i can do in the meantime please let me know so i sincerely hope that you really enjoyed the, that training video that eli put together for you that you take action on it guys you have to take action you have to be willing to execute you have to be willing to actually put everything on the line quite frankly if you want to do a successful crowdfunding raise you really have to have a strong degree of will you can always have mad hatter do it for you they're total experts when it comes to this space they've been doing it a long time they've done six figure raises etc so if you're interested in learning more about their services i'm going to link you up down below to a questionnaire which will let them know a little bit more about your campaign again if you like this channel let me know by subscribing i love i'm um, seeing new subscribers it just really lights up my day knowing that i'm reaching more and more people so would love it if you could subscribe and also turn on notifications so that way when i come out with a new video you'll get notified my name is salvador brigman hope you like this video and i'll see you next time